Okay, before we move on to regular expressions, it's important you understand some of the maths and terminology involved. Now, we looked at a large part of this in the last video, so if you haven't, go back and look at that first. We're just going to cover a few more concepts here. We're going to be familiar with the terms subset, proper subset, countable set, and the operations membership, union, intersection, and difference. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, subset and proper set. Let's say we've got two sets, A and B, and we're going to use that in all of our examples here. If every member of set A is also a member of set B, as we can see by this diagram, then we can say that A is a subset of B, and we write that using this notation here. If A is a subset but not equal to B, which is also the case, then we can also say that A is a proper set of B, and we can notate that using this notation here. For example, we could say the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is a proper set of the set of natural numbers. Next one to look at is union. So we can effectively add two sets together. This results in a brand new set which contains everything in either set A or B. So here we have set A and B, and the union of A and B creates a new set which contains all the items from sets A and B. With intersection, represented by this symbol here, we look at the two sets and we only look at the members which both sets have in common. So here we have set A, here we have set B. When we perform an intersection on them, the resulting set has only the elements which were in both a and B. Any elements which are only in one or the other are excluded from the new set. And finally, difference. So with difference, we look at the two sets and we can sometimes think of this as a, as a form of subtraction, which is why it's sometimes written as A minus B, though the terminology you need for the exam is A slash B. It reads as everything which is in set A, but not in set B. So if we look at set A, which has these values, and set B that has these values, it's everything which is in this set, but not in this set. So we'd end up with 2, 4, 6 and 8. Technically, we define it like this where E means is a member of, and this means E is not a member of, and that reads as X, where X is everything which is a member of A, and at the same time, where X is not a member of B. But it's sufficient to remember this shorthand for the exam.